Hi guys, in today's video, we are talking about how to use RX Connect in Cubase. I love RX, Isotope RX, I love it. I use it uh, for a lot of different things, uh, just to spice up my own recordings or to do audio repair or to do batch processing. I love it. And I often use them just as plugins on my tracks, but some of the plugins that I use uh, introduce a lot of latency. So it's a lot easier for me to just render out the processes for example, the noise reduction or the de-reverb. But if I want to do that to the raw file, then I would have to find the file, open it in RX, and it would take a lot of time. So you can actually use something called RX Connect. And I found a way to use it that is really uh, simple, and I thought I'd show it to you. But hey, if we haven't met yet, my name is Tomud, and I run this channel called Sifter Studios. On here, we do media composing tutorials, Cubase tips and tricks, and freelance lifestyle talks. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe. Let's jump into this project. Uh, I have a track here called Speech Something. Oh, at the time, this hurricane passed us. It's just some voiceover. We were only doing about three knots, and I think the the hurricane was doing about eleven knots. But let's say that this was a really long track, and I wanted to do some noise reduction on it. Uh, I could do that by opening up. If you hit F seven, you're opening up the direct offline processing, uh, and you can do lots of cool stuff uh, right here. This is, uh, if you've used Pro Tools, this would be like the audio suite thing. Uh, Logic has its own uh, version of this, but it enables you to do some processing right on the track and it actually bounces a new audio file so that you're not, used, you're not spending uh, the computer's resources while playing back. So I thought, might it be possible to use RX Connect here? And yes, it is. If we load up RX Connect, I'm on RX 6 right now. Uh, select the reference and then press preview or select repair, then press process to send the clips to RX. Okay, so I'm gonna repair it uh, and I'm gonna hit apply. If you don't see this, it might you might have set this to auto apply. So it won't open by, yes, actually, it was a little buggy when I tested it out earlier. So I, if it's, if it's not working for you, I just untick auto apply, then hit apply. It's gonna open it like this in RX. And this would be like a standalone um, version. So I could go in here, find somewhere where I see that we don't have any voiceover and I'm gonna do a spectral repair. No, I'm gonna do a voice denoise. No, I'm gonna do a spectral denoise. Hit learn, and it's gonna look at the uh, selection that I've made. Okay, then I'm gonna zoom back out, select everything, and hit process. Boom, okay, so we can see that if we go to the initial state, and back, we have lost a lot of noise. Uh, and now we only need to click send back. And because I'm not on auto apply, it hasn't applied it yet. So let's see if we can see any difference in the waveform. We might not, but we'll hit apply. Oh, look at that. If you bypass this and enable it again, you're gonna have to start over. Uh, just so you know, but uh, you can get back to the original if you need to and uh, You're gonna save yourself from a lot of latency if you do this processing offline uh, And that's how you do that in Cubase Great, I'm gonna be back uh, with uh, new tips very soon But until then remember that there is always gold in everyone